question comes to your mind, you think about different angles to solve that question. You think about which are the ways that you can solve it inside the box and you think outside the box to solve a problem that this question brings to you. And now the state of knowing and not knowing will introduce themselves. And in this video, we're going to talk about the state of not knowing the answer and why the state of not knowing is much more important than the state of knowing the answer. Let's, com let's compare those two states. Let's say there's a question introducing itself to you and now you want to solve that question and you're in the state of not knowing. The state of knowing would be you see that question and then you see the answer to that question. You see the solution to that question. And then when you see the solution of that question, you are going to be in a state of knowing and you're going to know how to solve that question when the solution is shown to you. But when you are in a state of not knowing in comparison, you do not know what the answer to that question is. Now there is possibility of an insight, possibility of something coming to your mind that might have never came to any human's mind in this world. Something that's completely unique, some knowledge, some insight that could be true as well and that could solve that problem and might be even better than any solution that has been created by any other humankind ever. So in this experiment that we explained just right now, you can understand how important not knowing is not knowing equals putting yourself in the state of possible insights, in the state of receiving insights, in a state of open mind, in a state of looking for knowledge. And when, you're, when you are in that state, your mind tries to find any piece of information. You might be sitting on your chair like this, and you might be in the state of not knowing, and you might be thinking about the problem. And maybe in two minutes, something comes to your mind out of thin air that might transform the whole humanity just by sitting in a chair and being in the state of not knowing. So this is philosophical and extremely philosophical. But using what I told you, you can solve very practical and things that are so much far away from philosophy that other people think they are far away, but actually practicality and philosophy are strong related. The concept of not knowing can bring insights to your mind that can solve super practical problems in the modern world. They could solve business problems, relationship problems, knowledge problems, science problems. So use the state of not knowing deliberately and consciously. Put your states, put yourself in the states and you do not know the answer. And even if some answer is going to be represented to you, wait for a bit. Be in the state of not knowing. Maybe you find an answer that's different from the prepared answer and the prepared solution. And the answer you find might be even better and more closer to truth than the answer which is prepared. So practice for you is go to your room, sit there for two hours straight on a chair and do nothing. And just think, think about things you don't know, what things you not know. And by saying it, you don't know those things, you already have an open mind and you're already looking to know that. You're already looking for solutions and you're already in a good state for receiving insights and coming up with knowledge when you're thinking about things that you don't know.